How's the first week been? No, nah, yeah, it's been pretty tough. I uh, started off with wrestle and that, but um, yeah, just settling in and um, trying to build those relationships um, off the field um, in preseason, so we can get a good start to the year. But it's been pretty cool. Yeah, like we've been, you know, completing new club, been at the Panthers for quite a while. How's the adjustment been to just meeting everyone, getting used to different ways, different methods? Yeah, it's been um, pretty good. Um, the boys here are heaps welcoming, which made it a lot easier for myself and. Um, yeah, like I said, just been um, trying to build those relationships and get to know the boys and um, know the system here just so I can uh, fit in a bit as well and um, learn just as much as I can teach as well. So it's been, yeah, pretty mad. Plenty of ex-teammates though. Has it made the transition easier? Yeah, I've got Birdo, um, kicks in that here and um, a lot of um, younger boys as well that are um, pretty cool to um, meet and uh, get to know them as well. But um, yeah, it's definitely made it a bit easier. David, do you know where you'll be playing in this uh, no, nah, not not yet. Um, I think just my uh, main goal for this preseason just to get um, as fit as I can, um, the best um, the best I can get myself. So uh, wherever I'm playing, uh, round one or um, whenever, um, I can do my job for the team and uh, make the boys proud. So um, don't really have a position um, just yet, and haven't really spoken to Serrano about that stuff as well. So. Have yeah. you thought about where you prefer what your preferred position would be? Nah, not really. Um, I think just, like I said, just trying to um, get as fit as I can. I think I can play a, a few positions by trying to um, just uh, be, as, be as fit as I can, as strong as I can. So uh, whatever position um, I fall into, I can nail my job uh, for the team. Your understanding was that you wanted to come in to be a fullback, mm. but then the club assigned 10 utility players. So will centre suffice for you? Oh yeah, I don't mind. I think just um, putting my best foot forward, um, showing what I what I have to offer, um, will um, put a good step forward to where I'll play. Um, I kind of like playing fullback, like playing centre, playing wing. Um, but I think just putting my best foot forward and training the best I can. And um, Serraldo, when he picks the team, he can pick the best team that he um, he can think of to put on the field. And wherever I'm playing, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. You've played a few games at fullback in the past. How do you think you handle that? Yeah, I think I'm um, probably more um, experienced now than the first time I played. I'm just learning, um, learning how to play the position properly. And um, last year, being under one of the best fullbacks in Dylan Edwards and trying to uh, pick from his brains and um, how to become um, a good player as well. So um, yeah, just um, used that last year at Penrith just to learn as much as I can off the and uh, bring it to wherever I play here. So it's been cool. You've got so many options. When do you think ideally you'd like to have it sorted? Sort of position. Yeah. Oh, that's probably not my job to pick the side, but yeah, like I said, just trying to uh, be as fit as I can, and uh, whenever those selections come around, and um, I can put my best foot forward to whatever position I want to play. At the back end of last year, here there was a lot of talk about the standards and how hard uh, this team was training compared to Penrith. What have you noticed in your early days? Uh, I think it's probably like similar. Um, the t intensity is really up there. Uh, the boys have been already training for five weeks and um, just talking to the boys, it's been, they're saying it's a lot better. Um, a lot of the boys are buying in and uh, motivated to get better and I think that's that's already good signs. And uh, my first two days just out on the field, you can hear the younger boys, older boys, um, just motivating each other to get better and uh, those are definitely good signs and uh, moving in the, right, uh, in the right direction. You came back a bit earlier than expected, why did you want to get in here early? Uh, I think I just didn't want to um, come in the new year and not know anyone. Uh, I wanted to come in and um, show that I'm like, really about it. and um, I want to, like I said, build those, build those combinations. Um, and I think um, the best way to do that is um, coming back early and show the boys that I'm just as motivated as I am now than uh, back at Penrith. And I uh, want to uh, show them that I can still do it and um, motivate them as well to uh, be better as well. The club's spoken openly about bringing in guys who've come from winning coaches. <coughs> How do you sort of convey that to the rest of the team? Is it through actions? Do people come to you asking for advice? How's that looked in the first few weeks? No, it's been all right. Um, yeah, I got to get a lot of boys like asking how the system and that is at Penrith and um, how they run things. But um, yeah, the club is um, definitely going in the right direction with um, like moving together and doing everything together, uh, communication and things like that. But um, yeah, the first two days have been um, heaps good um, learning and. Uh, teaching the younger boys and learning off them as well. Um, I think um, I'm not good at everything and I, I'm still learning um, off the younger boys. Um, they probably still know a lot more than I do as well, but yeah, it's been good. West Tigers made a big pitch to Jerome Luai earlier <coughs> today. Have you been speaking to him at all about no. 325? No, not really. I haven't really spoken to him ever since um, I left, which is like a few weeks ago, the last time I met up with him. But um, the last time I did speak to him, I just told him do whatever uh, makes him happy and um, what makes him 
makes him and his family happy and I'll be, I'll be happy. He's kind of my best mate as well. So wherever he goes, whether he stays, he goes, wherever he goes, I'm happy with wherever he goes. What would you do if you were Jerome Stephen? Um, I'll probably sit down with my parents, um, see what the best uh, solution is uh, to put his, him and his family in the right position. Um, just don't listen to the outside noise. I um, kind of had that last year as well uh, when I was moving, but I think um, as long as he knows that his family's um, happy with wherever he goes, then um, that's the best, best thing for him. Matt, so you got engaged in the off season. Congratulations! <laughs> Thanks, brother. Uh, Thank that you. Like? Was it nerve wracking? Yeah, nervous as probably. I was more nervous for that than uh, the grand final. <laughs> uh, not nervous. Probably not nervous um, asking her, but asking her parents, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, now just preparations for the wedding. Happy on field, happy on uh, off field as well. Yeah, hundred percent. I think that's probably the best thing. Uh, being happy on the field and um, away from footy, uh, family's happy in that, which. Uh, makes my job a lot easier coming into training knowing that everyone's happy at home, so it's pretty cool. The club has one of the most passionate fan bases in their NRL. Do you kind of have a message for them ahead of next season? Yeah, um, I was kind of telling the boys as well, um, when dogs came out to Panthers and we played there and I versed them, um, I signed a lot of like um, dogs, dog stuff more than Panther stuff, which was uh, pretty heartwarming for myself knowing that I was coming to a club that I uh, really love their players and really get behind the boys and uh, yeah, probably just a little message just to come out and support the boys and um, the boys are already in a um, better position than they were last year pre-season so we're going to be a lot stronger and a bigger force to stop so uh, the boys are training well and I'm um, going to get a good start to the season. Great. Thank you everyone. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for coming out. Thank you.